I went to school right on 116th from Pleasant, and I remember there were times where on the loudspeaker they would tell you not to go to the park. It's called Thomas Jefferson. They used to tell us not to go to Jefferson Park you know, during our lunch break and stuff like that because kids were getting like robbed and, and slashed and stuff like that. But I feel like that's 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 old Harlem. Um, I don't, I don't, I really don't feel like it's like that anymore. Like I don't feel like it's dangerous or I don't feel worried when 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 I'm like walking down the street or anything like that. I, I feel like that's very very much just a, a stigmatism of maybe like a, of, of old old school Harlem. Um. I just remember like, um, as a kid, you just knew like once you pass Metropolitan Hospital like on 101st Street and you pass those basketball courts on like 96th Street or whatnot kind of knew maybe all the way up to 123rd that you don't really want to walk down First Avenue at night. And like I said, it's not because you're going to get killed or raped or anything like that, but <laughs> you had a high chance of getting robbed. I felt like that was more the, the big thing than anything. I, I never worried about really for my life or anything like that, or so much really I'm going to get beat up and stuff like that. But it's just like I worried about getting robbed. That was my main thing. <laughs> You want to know Harlem, what, what Harlem is nowadays? <laughs> I walk over here and I, I see a homeless man sleeping on a bench and, and, and a guy sleeping on a cup of liquor over there. But, but then you walk literally just a couple of feet over and you have the new side of Harlem, the gentrification, the, the guy that we just passed on his new iPhone 5 with, with, with his iPad and stuff like that. That's Harlem. It's, 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 it's this blend going on now between you know socioeconomic statuses and, and different income levels and literally it's right across the street with each other and it's 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 not like it's a blend it's it's more of a force out it's just like okay we we, we need more affordable housing for for di different income levels so here's the affordable housing okay we're running out of space we're gonna tear this down and we're gonna relocate tear this down relocate and so anytime you think about like tearing down somebody's home and then relocating them you almost think about like what we used to do to Native Americans, right? <laughs> you you, you, you t take them out of one area and stuff like that and then relocate them to another area. And then when you need that area, you take them out and you relocate them again. So that, that's, that's the new Harlem. That's Harlem nowadays. Growing up, more than anything, I found like the, the reverse racism. And then when I went outside, it's just like, oh, you're from Harlem? I was almost ashamed to tell people I was from Harlem because, you know, they. So, 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 so many people um, go by appearance. So you, yeah, I, I can wear like little, my little fake diamond earrings or whatever and, and, and wear a nice watch or something and wear a leather jacket and somebody will see me and they'll, and, they, and they'll just associate me with money. I don't know if it's the color of the skin or the jewelry or the clothes or whatever. But the minute I tell them from Harlem, it's like, oh, you're from Harlem? Like, it's, it's almost like a, like, you're right, like a stigmatism that, that, uh, that it gets carried with it. But only, only outside of New York it, it, does it make it cool. But growing up, I felt like the opposite. You know, you grow, growing up in the project, stuff like that, being light-skinned and stuff like that, they almost like, they almost look at you and like, what are you doing here? Kind of got my ass kicked a couple times because of it, believe it or not. <laughs>